A young woman leaves a Paris bar in the early hours of Sunday the 5th of September 1920 and she's been partying hard with friends. It's time to head back to her suite at the Ritz. When she arrives at the hotel, the staff nod in recognition. The American beauty with her porcelain skin and violet blue eyes is the silent movie starlet, Olive Thomas. She is glamorous and the world's greatest sex symbol at this time. Yet in just a few days, this girl with the world at her feet would die in unimaginable agony. A hideous death that would forever be shrouded in mystery. Olive had came from humble beginnings, the daughter of an Irish steel worker in Pennsylvania. After her father was killed in an accident, she earned money for the family by posing for nude photographs when she was just 14 years old. By the age of 18, she was already a divorcee and her striking looks were starting to attract attention. Now living in Harlem with a cousin, she entered a competition to find the most beautiful girl in New York City. When she won, her modelling career took off and soon her face was appearing on magazine covers. In 1915, she caught the eye of none other than Florence Siegfeld, the great theatre impresario. He was entranced with Olive and made her one of his Siegfeld girls, as well as his mistress. He also cast Olive in his more risque Midnight Frolic which was performed to a select group of individual male guests. In it, she danced in a costume made of balloons, which members of the audience popped with their cigars. Men were bewitched by the 20-year-old beauty and she was showered in gifts. It was rumoured that the German ambassador gave her a £10,000 string of pearls. Now the toast of Broadway, the little girl from Pennsylvania, had come a long way. Only even greater heights of stardom beckoned. A Hollywood director fell under her spell and begged her to appear in his films. Once in California, she met and fell in love with Jack Pickford, the brother of one of the biggest movie stars at this time, Mary Pickford. The pair were married in 1916, but cracks soon began to appear in their relationship. Olive's star was rising while Jack's career had stalled. They would have fierce arguments followed by passionate making up. In 1920, Olive was cast as the lead in the film The Flapper. She was billed as everybody's sweetheart, which can't have endeared her to her sister-in-law Mary, who was known as America's sweetheart. Exhausted by promoting the film, Olive and Jack decided to try to rekindle their flagging relationship by taking a second honeymoon in Europe. The couple were notorious for enjoying the high life and after arriving in Paris, they hit the town. On Saturday the 4th of September, Olive and Jack went to one of their favourite Parisian haunts, Le Rat Mort, the Dead Rat. A bar frequented by artists and bohemians, Jack and Olive left in the early hours of Sunday morning and returned to the Ritz. From this point on, only Jack witnessed the events that would lead to Olive's horrific death. 
He claimed he went to bed while Olive wrote a letter to her mother. Suddenly, at 4 a.m., he heard his wife scream, Oh my God! Leaping out of bed, he rushed to the bathroom and was just in time to catch a stricken Olive in his arms. She had drunk a whole bottle of bichloride of mercury, a topical medication Jack used to treat his syphilis sores. He had been suffering from the disease for two years. As the liquid seared her throat, an almost hysterical Olive demanded to know what was in the bottle. Jack grabbed it and told her the label, which was in French, said, poison. My God, Olive cried out, I'm poisoned. Later, Jack would tell his sister that Olive was quite calm at this point. He claimed she had been looking for aspirin to ease her headache and in the dark had confused the bottles. Only aspirin came in tablet form. Why had Olive drunk a whole bottle of liquid more noxious than bleach? Surely one sip would have told her this was a mistake. Investigators later put forward the theory that she may have thought it was a sleeping draught, but such a large intake of even a sleeping draught could easily have killed her too. By now, Olive was losing the ability to speak as the corrosive liquid ate into her vocal cords. Jack gave her water to drink and try to make her sick. Then he forced egg whites down her throat to counteract the toxin. A doctor was called and he pumped Olive's stomach before she was rushed to hospital. For the next five days, she lay in agony as the mercury slowly destroyed her intestines and kidneys. Jack would later tell the press that his wife was conscious for most of the time and even able to exonerate him from the blame. At one point, as he sat devotedly by her bedside, she apparently looked at him and said, It's all a mistake, my darling Jack. However, Jack knew it was hopeless. On the 10th of September, Olive's suffering finally ended and she passed away. She was only 25 years old. After an autopsy was carried out, Olive's death was ruled accidental. However, the press and public weren't convinced and rumours began to circulate about the couple and wild drug fueled orgies. Had an unhinged olive made a melodramatic gesture and downed the poison after yet another blazing row? Or maybe she had committed suicide discovering Jack had given her syphilis. Others wondered if Jack had forced his wife to drink the liquid in order to claim the insurance money and settle his debts. However, nothing could be proved. Olive's friends doubted she had committed suicide. Her career was blossoming and earlier that night at the Ritz, she had written an upbeat letter to her mother saying how much she was looking forward to coming home. Besides, who would choose such a painful way to take their own life? It didn't make sense. What was clear was that Jack lied. His story kept changing as he related events to the police, the press and his family. A chronic alcoholic, Jack Pickford was to die 13 years later, aged 36 in the same Paris hospital as Olive. What really happened to Olive Thomas? And this concludes the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button, give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe for future videos. Thank you.